Booby doo! Where's Raggy? Booby doo! Where's Raggy? Where we T? Wait T! Wait T! Wait T! Where you at? I'm gonna go get me a doggy treat. Who the heck was that? I don't know. You buy silly things, you wear silly things. You never know what the cap guy's gonna do. But where is JT? JT? Oh, 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 check this out. Check this out. He can't hide from me. There's my, there's my packages going out today. Look at this. See that little handle thing? To Maui. JT, Maui's closed. JT. I said Maui is closed. Get out of there. You can't go there. Can't go to Australia. Can't go to Maui either. <laughs> you were ready. You were ready, weren't you? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That JT, he's something else. Something else. Well... Let's get this right, uh, Cap Guy. Morning, boys and girls. I was trying to go to Maui. Well, why can't... <laughs> well, when you do it live, kind of like the Carol Burnett show, you can't keep a straight face. Ugh. Hey, I was going to Maui. I thought... It's closed, but you can ship me there. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. If that box was big enough, I could get you in there. Uh, in there with you, right? Uh, no, there's a weight limit at the post office. You'd have to go freight. Freight don't go there. It'd go by ship. You'd, it'd take you a little while to get there. I'd already be hooling with the girls. All right. It's time for the Cap Guy Show, starring the Cap Guy. That's this guy, that silly rabbit. And I'm the bloke in the box. I'm JT, and we live in Oklahoma, where there are no blokes. But, well, I guess you are. Uh, never mind. Let's get on with the show, what we sold. 16 sales. Actually, 17, just waiting on payment on one. But here we go. <laughs> All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed that confusing mess. And Lone Star Picker gave me the idea of having JT in a box. And, and uh, I don't know if he liked it or not, but... Anyway, we did have 16 sales, and we'll get into those real quick, and I'll run through them so I don't get a bunch of dots. And uh, six of them were ball caps, so it was the cap guy kind of day. Um, and four of them were from the same yard sale where I picked up the roller skates a couple weeks ago and the cat poster and the vintage hats. Um, and, uh, well, here we go. First item I've sold, I've had for a little while. I got this at the Goodwill Bins, and I, this is the second Bob Allen hunting and fishing vest that I've sold. Um, nothing special. It's just a hunting and fishing vest. Part of it's mesh, part of it's canvas. This is an XL, and I sold this for $11.50. I had three sixty dollars invested based on weight, so it went in a priority flat rate envelope, but I made $9.45 because I made a little on the shipping. The next is a Zippo, and yes, Zippo makes knives besides lighters. And this is a USS Lexington, which was an aircraft carrier World War II. Of course, there's been several Lexington aircraft carriers. But this is a knife that was in a, had a, a uh, certificate of authenticity and all that good junk right here. There you go. And... Um, I paid $5 at a yard sale for it, came with a case and everything, and I sold it for $25.95 plus shipping, and I made $18.10 off that. The next is a Coca-Cola CA, I believe this is Mexico, soccer, or in some countries, football jersey. Um, I paid, um, did I pay for this? $3 at a thrift store. Sold it for 18 plus shipping, and I made 13.83 off that jersey. Next is a UPS United Parcel Service Polo. It was not mine. 
Found this at the bins of all places. And it does have the logo on it, the newer logo. It's a blue and white adult XL and uh, paid 80 cents for it. Sold it for, actually I paid $1.25 based on weight. It was a little heavier. $10 plus shipping, $7.76 profit. The next is a Banana Pup Republic Tessuti Sondrio men's suit coat, 42 small. I bought this at the uh, bins as well. I buy a lot of the sport coats and stuff down there when I find decent ones. I've had this for a little while, last fall, and I've had a lot of interest in it, but nobody ever popped on it. I had it at $25. I had 360 invested, again, based on weight plus priority shipping. He asked me to get it small enough where it would fit in his mailbox, which I thought was going to be an impossibility. But I did get it right. He didn't care if it was rolled up and crinkled. He was going to, I guess, dry clean it when he got it. Well, I got it in a priority flat rate envelope, which I wouldn't have done normally. I would have shipped it in a box. But because a customer asked, a customer gets. 1940 profit off of it. The next is a Sublime Concert, or not Concert, but Band t-shirt. And I'm not familiar with their music, but I know who they are. Uh, paid um, 50 cents for this. Sold it for $14.49 plus shipping. And I made $13.26, and that's going to the UK. The next one is one of the caps I was talking about. I found a couple weeks ago. I found a three corduroy caps and then a bunch of vintage ball caps. This was one of them. It's Crested Butte. And it's got the... And this is actually going to Crested Butte, Colorado. So it's going home. I paid uh, 75 cents for this. Sold it for $10.50 plus shipping. And I made $9.41 on it. The next one is another one of those caps, Sandia Peak, also in Colorado. And I think a lot of these are uh, they're mountain or um, ski resorts. And uh, this one's maroon. And... I got twelve ninety nine for it with seventy five cents invested, plus shipping, and I made eleven fifty six on that one. The lowest price cap I got was this one from the bins, eighteen cents. It's Speedway, America's oldest speed shop. Uh, sold it for five ten with eighteen cents invested, and I made five twenty six on it because I made a little on the shipping. This one uh, Atwoods also got at that same sale where I got the corduroy caps. Atwoods is a town and country store. This one's an older cap, and, but it was in good shape. I'm trying to just kind of run through it for you. Mesh uh, paid 75 cents, sold it for $15. And when it was all said and done, I made, plus shipping, made $13.89 on that cap. The next is a, whoops, I don't know how I grabbed that. Legacy, Red River, New Mexico, which is a ski resort in New Mexico, northern New Mexico. Uh, it's partially mesh as well. And again, it's a snapback. And I paid 18 cents for this at the bins. And I sold it for $9.35 plus shipping. And I made $9.57 on that cap. And I hope I didn't lose the rest of my... Oh, I didn't. Boy, I thought I'd lost all my pictures. The next one is a Greenhead Supply Company. And again, I found this at that same one where I found the corduroy in the Atwoods. Uh, this is, um, or did I? Now I'm, now I'm looking at my chart. Yeah, same one. 75 cents in, sixteen eighty out, plus shipping. I made fifteen forty four. This one's got an oil derrick and a duck on it. So, I don't know. Either they work for the company or they just collect cool hats. And that's, that's different with a duck and an old rig on the same hat. They don't actually go together. A coup is life. That's the uh, next t-shirt up for bids on the Price is Right. Or the Cap Gas Show, I should say. A coup is life is... Um, I, I really don't know what the theme is, but hey, they bought it. I had it. I comped it. $0.84 cents in, fourteen seventy-five out. Plus shipping, I made twelve fifty three on it. The next is a majestic New York Yankees jersey. It doesn't have a name on it. It is sewn, which means it's stitched. The letters are stitched on the uh, jersey. And uh, number twenty four, no name, so that means anybody can wear it. 
Um, sold it for eleven fifty on a best offer when I saw a watcher because I have had this for quite a while. And baseball jerseys don't do as good as other jerseys, even though I think they're nicer. Uh, that's my opinion. Uh, shipping on top, got it in a flatwood envelope, made six ninety two on that jersey. These are Foot Joy golf shoes, and these are not the ones where the cleats come off. These are actually part of the shoe. These are new without box. I bought these at a private pick, storage cleanout pick. They had never been used. I paid up $15 for these. I sold them for a best offer of 35 when I saw a watcher on it again. I got them in April, and um, plus shipping on top. And I'm gonna make $16.87 on those. And then the last thing I sold last night was this, and I don't know why I keep grabbing these things. Uh, this is Crash and Spyro Super Packs for Game Boy Advance. I paid a dollar for both of them combined, and I sold them for $20 plus shipping, and I made $16.67. So on the day, 16 sales, technically 17. I sold a Hollister shirt, but he hadn't paid me. He told me he'd pay me today. So I always appreciate when people don't pay me right away and they tell me what they're going to do. So I'm not out there bugging them and sending them reminders because I do do that. Um, 16 sales, $42.50 of paid items, and that's cost of goods. $255.93 in sales and $199.95 in profit. That's a one-day profit. Off of forty two fifty one ninety nine fifty. That's a good day. That's a good day, folks. You make two hundred dollars a day profit. That's that's a good job. So, anyway, um, I've already got a sale today, and I said, guess what? It's another one of them doll things that I bought. So, I'll take it, and we'll get on with it. And I hope today's as good as yesterday was. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, thumbs up, hit that notification bell and the subscribe button. And uh, we will talk to you tomorrow as we always do. Cap guy out.